Hey guys, it's Edward. Uh, welcome back to our channel, The Family Dice. We're super happy to have you here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're going to keep making videos that are just going to get better and um, we've got plenty to do. So um, today we're going to be doing another Warhammer 40k Army Showcase. So today the army showcase is going to be the ultramarines so they're my second army and i'm super proud of them um kind of uh, show a progression of my painting throughout time um, but let's take a look here they are So here we've got my Ultramarines, um, the old original Marines that I started this army with, painted like the standard Ultramarines, um, coming from the second company, so you see the gold trim. My Primaris Marines that are new and I just started getting, um, I'm putting the, the purple on them like they're coming from the seventh company. Then my pile of shame, they're gonna be a Storm Raven and a Storm Talon. I've got 10, uh, no, 15 more intercessors, 20 more tactical marines, oh, and a whirlwind. So here I just wanna show my primary apothecary. Um, I put a lot more work into him and a little more, do a little more detail work but I used a, my own kind of color scheme, but so, you know, did some white to show that he is the apothecary. Then the captain's got that purple cloak to help indicate, you know, he's really from the seventh. I don't want to just pull them to still have the gold. Um, so this Terminator uh, is showing that he's magnetized so I can run him with the power sword to be a sergeant or I can rig it as a regular. Uh, so this is a standard tactical marine with a special weapon. I uh, just wanted to show I uh, used blue tack so I can interchange his weapons. And as you can see from the difficulty getting that off, just a little blue tack holds really well and you can't even tell. So it's a great way to be able to switch out weapons without having to have multiple models. So this guy here is really special to me. I really, really wanted a chaplain. And so I had some spare bits and one of the bits was this head and torso and legs all together um, metal model I didn't know what it was so I did some research on the internet to find out as many of you uh, have now guessed or know it's uh, the model cypher uh, who's actually I guess from the Dark Angels so some people may be calling this uh, heresy I didn't have the arms or any of the other bits so I just put all these bits on him made a uh, custom weapons and kind of made him into my chaplain mm -hmm. 
So this is my Land Raider. I really had a lot of fun painting this. This was all done by brush. Um, I had to learn to use thin coats um, and really get that practice down. And I did a lot of detail work. I even made sure to paint the inside. So this is my Predator. Um, you know, he was put together really quickly, and so um, this was also when I was first starting out. So you kind of see some mold lines there, but you can see that it's also blue tacked so that I can change it out for its other weapon options. Um, blue tack and magnets are just really great to save me from having to buy multiple models to put together. This is the whirlwind weapon, um, I've magnetized the rockets so I can run either one. And here I magnetized the weaponry for the Storm Raven. Uh, that's just a bar of sprue that runs all the way across. And then the front is just gonna be held on with blue tack. Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed that showcase. Uh, I really do love my Ultramarine Army. Um, just looking back at the video as I filmed it, you know, it really shows a lot of the, the details on them, um, especially when I was newer to the models and didn't take the time to do the mold lines and was new to the game and just wanted to get them done. Um, each time I see a mold line though, it's, it's just like a bolter shot to the heart. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Should I go back and fix those mold lines and repair that kind of stuff? Or should I just progress on with this stuff in the future and just make sure that I do a better job and continue to show my improved skill as I go and just be able to show that timeline of my skill progression? Um, what do you think's best? I, I, just let me know. Um, we also want to let you guys know, uh, as usual, we want to pray for our viewers. So, you know, if you have a prayer request, um, and if you don't want to share the details of the prayer request, you can always say it's unspoken, but just send that to the, the email in the description below. Um, just let us know what we can do to, to pray for you. Um, also, a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we're really excited to continue to grow this channel and to make more content both around the Warhammer 40K, our other hobbies, and just more of those little parenting skits, you know. So thanks so much again, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>